Hey YouTube, matches 860. It's a little nippy out this morning. Smoking this pipe that is stamped Yorkshire. It's got a logo on the stem that looks almost like Yellow Bowl, but it says that it's made in Italy. I gotta look it up. The pipe's ugly as sin, but it smokes great. It's like my third bowl of haunted bookshop this morning. So I gotta tell my tale of woe when I was on my mini vacation. Last March when I joined YouTube. And I was thinking about possible videos I could do to keep the ball rolling because I didn't want to do like just three videos and then quit. I knew I was going to be going to the Cape in September and I thought, boy, lots of opportunity there. So on and off all summer I thought about what I was going to video and what I was going to talk about. Got pretty stoked. So I get down the Cape. Thursday afternoon decided that I'd take kind of the afternoon and night off from doing anything. Immediately I started to relax and actually got really tired Thursday night. Just about ready to go to bed and I thought I'd check YouTube one more time. Lo and behold, Daily Puffer, Bruno is back. So I got all excited. And there was no way I could go to bed without doing a video response to him coming back. So I did that, uploaded it, hung around for a while looking at comments. Went to bed and just slept like a baby. Next day I got up and figured I'd go out and sort of get an idea as to the locations I had picked a video. And uh, my first one was the one that I was most excited about. It's part of the National Seashore. And back in the early 60s, the Army Corps of Engineers went into this wooded, swampy area not far from the ocean, and they built a quarter-mile uh, trail out of like a boardwalk, maybe a foot or two off the floor of the forest swamp. and. For as long as I can remember, whenever I've gone to the Cape, one of the first things I do is walk through this trail. So I just went to scope that out to see best locations and stuff like that. Got to the trail, and it was closed. Hurricane Irene, I guess, dropped a lot of trees on the trail and damaged the uh, boardwalk. And uh, I felt just like Chevy Chase when he got to Wally World and it was closed. Except I didn't go out and get a BB gun and shoot somebody. So that got me pretty bummed out. And I decided I wasn't going to let that stop me. Went over to the uh, bay side of the Cape and 
was kind of looking things over and figuring out what I would do and what I'd say. I was all set for probably doing something on Saturday. Get back to the cottage and I had taken some digital photos that I tried to upload upload onto Flickr. And the uploader shut me off. So I figured there was something wrong with the site. Went to YouTube and uh, I had just uh, done the video on the patio of the cottage, the one that I posted. That wouldn't let me upload either. So apparently I was under some kind of bandwidth restriction that I had exceeded. And uh, no more uploads for the weekend. That really bummed me out. But I decided the purpose of the vacation was to relax. So I guess it was uh, Saturday and Sunday I spent not doing any YouTube type videos, but just taking a lot of stock video. And uh, when I got back and was checking the quality out, I was actually pretty surprised because I did it with uh, my old Sony standard definition a little worried about what the quality of that was going to be like. The, the pictures, I think, were fine, but I got the breeze blowing across the microphone, which I don't know if it bothers any of you, but I can't stand it. And certainly if I had been trying to talk over that noise, uh, you wouldn't have been able to have heard me, so... got totally bummed out about that too. So, at that point, I sort of gave up uh, all my ideas for the videos. Just spent the rest of the weekend uh, taking it easy and shot a little bit more stock video, which maybe I'll do something with when I'm stuck inside this fall and winter. And by the time the weekend was over, I really wondered, you know, next year, whether I want to live with this not being able to upload. And, you know, initially I said, I don't know if I want to go through this again, but because the weekend was so relaxing, which is what it was for, I'll probably go back if I can afford it again. So that's my tale of woe. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.